guys and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new around here, I am Becky. I am a 29 year old mother of two. Not 29, very much longer there was. Unfortunately, I turn 30 tomorrow, which I am absolutely dreading, but unfortunately growing older is just something in life that is guaranteed. So I just need to try and get on with it. I make videos about lifestyle and vlogs and shopping hauls and things like that. So if it's something that you think you'd be interested in, please hit subscribe. I would love it for you to stick around here. Today I am back with a favourites video. I think I last posted a favourites video in about May or June. I haven't got a great deal of stuff, just a couple of things that I've been enjoying while I've took a little break. I haven't posted a video in a couple of weeks. No particular reason had like a couple of personal things going on and to be perfectly honest I've just enjoyed the summer with the kids we've not done anything massively exciting like we've not been on holiday or anything and I've just not really had an awful lot to film but I thought what better video to kick things back off with I'm actually doing a vlog this week I'm vlogging the kids going back to school obviously I'm going to vlog my birthday so definitely check that out next week I think it'll probably be up about Wednesday but I thought this would be the perfect video to kick back off with I've got a mix of stuff, it's like beauty, a bit of homeware, a bit of telly. So yeah, without any further ado, I shall crack on with the video. I'm gonna start with some beauty bits. I've only got like four bits, and one of them I've actually only had since Saturday, so I'll probably start with that one. But my sister lives in Essex, and she came home the weekend just gone to celebrate my birthday, and I actually got my birthday presents early. And she bought me the Jamie Genevieve MAC lipstick. It's not maybe necessarily my colour, I'm more of a pink girl than a nude girl and it is very nude, but I don't even care, I've wanted it, I love Jamie, I've been subscribed to her for ages and these are my favourite kind of presents because even though it's maybe not necessarily a lipstick colour that I would wear, my sister knows I love makeup and she knows I love Jamie Genevieve and she bought me it and I'm just, I'm so, so happy. So far, even though it's not actually been my birthday yet, this is definitely my favorite birthday present. And as you can see, it's like a real kind of true nude. I have worn it and I do like it. I just wonder if I'm a little bit pale for it because it's almost like the same color as my skin. Maybe it'd be better if I tried a lip liner with it, but even so, it's gonna stay nice and pristine in the box and yeah, I'm massively fangirling. The next product I've been loving is another lipstick. It's one of the NYX Powder Puff Lippies and it's in the shade Best Buds. I think the thing I love about this more than anything is the applicator. I think it's great. Maybe it's not for some people. I can see why maybe some people think it's maybe a little bit unhygienic or whatever. But yeah, I love it. I love the colour. It's a really nice kind of like pinky nude. As I say, I'm definitely more of a pinky girl than like a beigey girl. But I've been loving that. I think it was really inexpensive. I think it was maybe about five or six pounds. And I've been wearing it all the time. So loving that. Another thing I've been loving is this Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Cream. It smells... Oh my God, it smells amazing. It smells like chocolate. If you saw my last favorite videos, I actually mentioned in that the Vaseline one, but I found that the Vaseline one, as much as I loved it, it just wasn't moisturizing me enough. Whereas this one is fantastic. I think also, isn't this one, if you're pregnant or something, meant to be really good for stretch marks and all that kind of thing. The kids love it as well. I think more than anything, the kids love the smell because it really does smell like chocolate. But I picked this up in Home Bargains about maybe 2 99 maybe not even that expensive and I just use it every day as my moisturizer and I'm loving it and I smell like chocolate so I mean it's just the best win-win so another thing I've been loving are these Garnier Skin Active tissue masks now I've never tried this one before this is for spots but I've tried the ones that just give you moisture and honestly the difference in my skin I can't even tell you I picked up my first one when they were on offer at Tesco they were half price at £1.50 and ever since that I've just been obsessed with them like every single week I like to use one it says on it well basically you leave it on 15 minutes and it says that the effects it gives you last for a week so you don't need to use it any more than a week but my spots have pretty much gone hence the reason why i haven't used this one yet my skin feels so much better i would honestly recommend them and also it's really nice to run yourself a bubble bath get in the bath put one of these on maybe watch your one of your favorite shows on your computer or your tablet or phone or whatever and just have like a nice chill because 
us mums sometimes. We just need, we need a bit of us time. We need a bit of a relax. I would definitely recommend trying one of these. They do them for all different skin types. It's not just spots or like dry skin. They do, I think they do like an anti-pollution one. There's loads. So I would definitely recommend checking them out. Next, a couple of things I've got to share with you are TV items. Now the first one is a Netflix series. I'm sure everybody's heard of it. It's 13 Reasons Why. I watched that at when I first started the series, the first series, I was kind of like, oh, am I going to like this? Is it like a, just like another American teen drama? Like, is it really for me? But I've got to say I was hooked. I thought the story was amazing. I think I watched both series in about two weeks. And in one of those weeks, I was on holiday in Cornwall. Like every spare second, I was watching it. I downloaded it all onto my phone. So I was watching it on the way to Cornwall, on the way back from Cornwall. It was fantastic. I honestly would recommend watching it. Just give it a couple of episodes because if you're anything like me, you will think the same. But it was so good and the message it got across was fantastic. I think they are actually making a third season, which I can't wait to come out. But I loved it and I would thoroughly, thoroughly recommend it if you've got a Netflix account. I am pretty late to the game, so the chances are you may already have seen it, but I loved it. Second television favourite I have been watching, well, re-watching lately, is The King of Queens. Now this is a comedy series that was on a similar time to Friends. It's got Kevin James and Leah Remini in it. As you can see, I love it that much. Paul actually bought it me on DVD a couple of years ago for my birthday because I think the only time they show it on telly now is really early in the morning on Channel 4 before everybody loves Raymond and Frasier. But it's so good. It's so funny. I love it because it's kind of like, even though obviously you know it's fake and it's like a sitcom and everything that they do is for comedy purposes, it is kind of like real life. Like they're married and they have ups and downs and they have money worries and like they lose their job. And I just love it. I think it's great. It cracks me up. I love Kevin James anyway. And I've I also watch Leah Remini in her Scientology series, which is on Sky. I don't know if any of you have watched that. I'm a proper nerd when it comes to Scientology. I don't understand how anyone could ever, ever believe and plough all their money into something like that. But I'm not going to rant on about that. That's another story. But if you're after a really light-hearted program that you just can watch and just switch off, I would definitely recommend King of Queens. Get it on series link. It's on first thing in the morning and just have a good old binge because it's so funny. It's also got, which is this Arthur, he's also Ben Stiller's dad and it's got Ben Stiller's mum in it. So it's really, really great and I would thoroughly recommend. I've really enjoyed going back through it and watching it all again and just rem remembering how funny it all is. The next thing I have been loving at the moment, now the weather's changing a little bit and it's getting a bit cooler and we can get back in comfies and blankets and candles is I've pulled out my good old faithful home bargains candles again as you can see I have been burning it this is in the scent cherry blossom and jasmine I think I actually bought this earlier in the year but I don't really burn candles in the summer I much prefer like reed diffusers and stuff then but oh my god it smells so nice it smells really really fruity and just really nice for cheaper candles like this I'm probably Yankees I always find make sure when you're not burning it you put the lid back on because that really keeps the smell otherwise if you just leave it without the lid on you burn it it doesn't really smell of a lot but this really kind of keeps the smell in it i also use one of the yankee i haven't got one to show you but like the metal things that they do on top to make it eat burn evenly that's why i've got like a nice even burn on it these are like 2.99 i'm obsessed with them they smell just as good as yankees and they're like a quarter if not less of the price i'm obsessed with them and my house again now because it's getting a bit cooler we've hit september and we've had like a few rainy days i've got all my tea lights back out all my candles all my fairy lights definitely my favorite time of year coming up another thing i've been loving is my new iphone i had a bit of a rage <laughs> at the weekend and i chucked my phone on the floor and i accident i already had a crack on the screen but it's totally ruined now i think i can it's actually in this box so I can show you the state of the screen so yeah totally obliterated the screen so on Saturday night it was a mad dash to Tesco to go and try and renew my contract my contract was up in November so I think we had about a hundred pound to pay but 
Paul just treated it as a birthday present, I think. I can't show you the exact foam because I'm actually recording the video on it, but I got it in the gold, which is kind of like a rosy gold in a 64 gig because I already pay Apple for extra storage like for my music and things. So that's all I really needed. And I love it. I think obviously it's with any iPhone that you get, it's very similar to the phone that you just had because all the systems and everything are the same. The one thing I've noticed about this is that the camera is much better, especially the forward facing camera. I've noticed that when I've been making videos, obviously because I've been vlogging. And also the volume on it is so much louder, it's great. Because obviously I listen to my music on my phone while I'm doing housework and stuff and you can never really hear it. Whereas now this is really loud, so that's definitely, definitely a plus point with it. But yeah, so far I'm loving it. It's the 8 Plus, so obviously it's a bit bigger, and as I said, it's in the gold, and so far, I am loving it. Another thing I've loved since I've had it done is my date piercing. I appreciate this is quite a strange favourite to put in, but I suffer horrifically with migraines. I have done ever since I was a little girl. My father also did, so I think it's maybe a hereditary thing. But I remember when I was younger, I would come home from school every single day with a migraine. I, I did find out I had a food trigger, which was orange juice, because it was like one of my favorite things when I was younger. And I'd drink and drink and drink it. And I basically figured out that if I drunk it, that gave me my migraines, but I do still get them. Touch wood, not as bad as it used to be. I remember getting a couple of horrific ones when I was pregnant. And obviously what can you take when you're pregnant other than paracetamol, which makes me feel sick anyway. So I'd heard a lot of things about people getting this Dave piercing and I thought, well, I might as well give it a go, you know, see if it makes a difference. Luckily, they're not that regular anymore. But the past couple of months, I've been a bit stressed and I've had a couple of migraines. Like one was even that bad, Paul had to finish work and I was literally in bed for two days, well, a day and a half with this migraine. It just wouldn't shift. I can't eat with it. I'm sick with it. If you've ever had a migraine, you know what it's like and they just completely blow you off your feet. Now, I don't know if it's a coincidence or maybe it's psychological or what, but I've had my day, I've had it done in my left ear. I'll insert a picture. And I've had it done now for like a month. And in that month, I've only had one headache. So not only is it like not giving me migraines, it's pretty much stopped my headaches. It doesn't take me a lot to get a headache if I'm tired, if like I say, I'm a bit stressed. If I am up for too long before I have something to eat, literally a headache comes on and I've only had one in a month. Now, I can't even tell you what a difference that's made. Like literally, at least every other day I've got a headache for a part of the day or the whole day or I'll finish work and I've got one and I can't shift it. And it has made such a difference. I honestly, I don't know if you can see it. I honestly can't recommend it enough. Maybe it doesn't work for everybody, but it's definitely made a difference for me. It's... I am I'm so happy. It's literally the best £15 I've ever spent in my whole entire life. The last thing I've absolutely been loving, and as you'll see in the vlog that's coming up next week, are these Belvita chocolate chip breakfast biscuits. They come in a pack of four. They are so tasty. They're a little bit dry though, so if you have them, you probably want to either have a drink or a cup of tea with them. But they are so nice. They also fill me up for a really long time. I take these to work with me. I have them for my breakfast because at work you have so much temptation. They have like donuts and they have a cooked breakfast every day. But I just take a packet of these, have a cup of tea and they are bang on. They're fantastic if you're, you know, a busy mum, you've got the school run, whatever. They're great for kids maybe to take to school as a school snack. They're so tasty. I love them, kids love them, hubby loves them. And they're always on offer in supermarkets. I've tried different flavours. I've tried the honey and nut one and I really didn't like them. I thought they were way too sweet. But these chocolate chip ones are so nice. If you're after something that you just need to grab before you're heading out to work or the school run or whatever, just to eat quickly. Or even maybe an afternoon snack or something. But they do actually fill me up. But it says actually on it, four hours slow release carbohydrates. So maybe that's why it fills me up so much. I can, on, I can eat like a horse. I'm the first to admit it. But I can eat a packet of these. At nine o'clock at work when I have my break and it'll see me like right three to like half one when it's lunchtime. I don't even feel tempted to snack. So I would definitely check these out. They are yummy. So guys, that is the end of my August, September, couple of months, whatever I'm going to call it, favourites video. As I say, it's a really mixed bag of things. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. And as I say, if you're new around here, I would love, love, love you to stick around. 
if you've seen anything here that you like the look of or if you've tried it and you enjoy it please let me know in the comments below and i shall see you guys in the next video and when i'm 30. this is my last video as being a 29 year old in my 20s oh my word i'll see you guys thanks for watching bye